Hey friends, welcome to Katie on the Spot. I am Katie and today we are starting a new series on performance fabrics. What you can expect with performance fabrics, why you might want them or not want them in your home, and um, how to deal with some spot cleaning on the performance fabric. So you probably have a child or two or a pet and those are really good reasons to have performance fabric in your home. It's just a little bit easier to maintain and prevent permanent staining, at least help prevent permanent staining um, as opposed to purely natural fibers. So there are a lot of brands of performance fabrics. Today we've got Sunbrella here, just a little homemade cushion so we can um, have something to look at and talk about. So there's Sunbrella, there's going to, I'm not gonna name them all and I will probably forget some and my apologies. Um, Revolution makes one, uh, Krypton has a performance fabric line and Outdoora, there's a lot um, that, are, that are made to go outside specifically or indoor outdoor use and you can feel a difference in the quality and some of them you really wouldn't wanna put inside. They're really rough and like durable outside kind of feel to it. Um, the reason I chose the Sunbrella for this particular video is because it is solution dyed acrylic and from my cleaning experience, I find that solution dyed acrylic performs really well um, and yields a really good cleaning result. Obviously some of that is hinged on what's happened to it and how long has it been since it's, its last cleaning and has it ever been cleaned and you know what kind of soiling is on it but as a general statement the solution dyed acrylic is fabulous. You can also find um, polyester, um, polypropylene, uh, outdoor um, performance fabrics and you can find blended material for example, a polyester and linen that has a finishing coat applied at the mill baked into it and then is considered a performance fabric. Uh, the hesitation that I have with that scenario is it's still linen, even if it has a finish on it, and you still need to tread lightly with linen because of all of the considerations uh, with, that, with that fiber. Things like cellulosic browning, um, the differential shrinkage rate between a linen and a synthetic, if they do get oversaturated, what kind of spot cleaning agents can you safely use on linen versus a synthetic material? They're going to be vastly different and you generally clean to the weakest, the weakest link. <laughs> so you're going to be very limited with what you can do at home, what a professional cleaner can achieve when linen and I'm not picking on linen, I'm just saying um, when it's in the mix of what's expected to be a performance fabric and expected to yield really great results. All right, let's talk about general maintenance on performance fabrics. It's going to be a little bit easier to get better results with your general maintenance when it comes to a performance fabric versus a natural or even a blended material. So, of course, we always want to um, remove the dry soiling first, so regular vacuuming is critical. I like to um, compare it to flossing. Just because you go to the dentist twice a year doesn't mean you can get by with not flossing regularly. Your dentist knows and a good professional cleaner can tell when you are performing regular maintenance on your carpets, rugs, and upholstery. <laughs> so. Um, remove the dry soiling and the reason that's so important is dry soiling is abrasive. Think about a crystal of salt, like a cube of salt with all of these sharp edges. Sand is the same way. It's going to slice into your fabric, um, into each little fiber that's in your fabric and create new surface area where dust and liquid soiling, oily base like lotions and just body oils can get lodged into the fabric and give it a dull appearance and um, when that dry soiling and the body oil start to accumulate on the fabric performance or not it's going to well especially in performance it's going to affect the way the um, repellency of the fabric performs so you're not going to get as good um, you're not going to get as good liquid repellency or dry soil repellency because the fibers are all gunked up with stuff. So vacuum regularly. Um, 
you should be able to use a little bit more aggressive cleaning, spot cleaning agents, um, but only when needed. So with performance fabrics, you can generally start with water. Start by removing the bulk of whatever it is. Sometimes you can just blot with plain water and that'll remove a lot of it. Limit your moisture so that you're not leaving copious amounts of water or whatever in, in the fabric and consider what's under the fabric. A cushion is a giant sponge, so adding tons of moisture to that is going to be problematic in the future. Um, and then uh, prevention of the water rings. We'll talk about um, how to prevent water rings, which are not necessarily water um, to blame, and how to remove, if you've already done spot cleaning on a performance fabric and it dried and left a circle, um, on the fabric, we will show you how to remove that. So uh, stay tuned for the next video, like and subscribe, and feel free to leave me a comment um, with the video uh, idea that you have. Okay, we'll see you.